Hello lovely people and welcome to my tutorial for today. I hope all is well with all of us. I appreciate God for another privilege to be here with you today. And I hope he's being faithful to you as he is to me. I sincerely appreciate you guys for being here with me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the love. Thank you for your comments. Thank you so very much for being so patient with me. And if you are new to this channel, please don't leave without subscribing by hitting that red icon on your screen and also clicking on the notification bell enables you get notifications anytime i upload okay so for today's tutorial we're going to be making an organza puff sleeve okay it's going to be a very trendy one the concentration is on the sleeve not on the body of the top okay all right unless i forget I'll need to remind all of us that the world is filled with a lot of good and nice and wonderful people. But if you fail to see any good person, any nice person, and any wonderful person, please, I urge you, be one. Be that good, that nice, and that wonderful person to someone else. Okay? So let's just get started. Okay, so this is one yard of organza fabric, and this is what we're going to be using for today's tutorial. Right? Now my round sleeve, I mean here, just a little bit below my elbow, is 12 inches. Okay. Let's not forget that. First, I'm going to be cutting the sleeve. Like I said, this is just one yard. Okay, now for the width, I'm going to be making use of 18 inches here when unfold i hope you see since this is one yard so unfold it is 18 inches that is 36 i'm going to be making use of it as my width then as for my length i'll use 20 inches which is around here okay now my caps height is four inches but because i would want it to have a little bulkiness at the shoulder area i want you to have a little gathers also at the shoulder area so i will make my caps height five inches instead of four and now i've made a tutorial on how to cut basic sleeve you can check it out on my channel so i'll just carefully do this okay i hope you saw what i did and then i'll cut So I'm still going to cut another one that is for the second sleeve. Okay, so this is what we have for the two sleeves. Now you want, if you want much bulkiness here at the shoulder side, you will need to add more inches to your cap side so that it will slope down a little here. Okay. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is to gather this place, this lower part, okay? You either pleat or you gather here, this lower part, using the measurement of your round sleeve, okay? I said mine is 12 inches, okay? So I will have to now gather this place to the measurement of 12 inches inches okay so i'm going to go to my machine use the loose part of my stitch regulator to run make a stitch across the way the the lower part of this sleeve okay and then i'll gather it i think i've shown us before now how to do that also all right so now i've made my stitch all i need to do is grab one end of the two rope just one and start to pull 
to bring them together okay now i'm going to be using the circumference of 12 inches that is the measurement of my round sleeve at this point okay So I'll need to check whether it is 12 inches. Okay. So I'll now tie it at one end. I'll also tie here. Okay, so I will now carefully distribute these gathers so that they are even. <coughs> okay, now with this done, We'll come to the upper side. That is the armhole area. Now, the circumference of my armhole is 18. That is 9 inches on each side. That is 18. So now, I will have to pleat this upper part. You see, I notched the midpoint of our sleeve. I did so on both sleeves. So I will have to pleat to make sure I have 9 inches on each side. Since this is our midpoint, I'll pleat to make sure I have 9 inches on, each, on this side, 9 inches on the other side. Okay? When I do, I'm going to hold it with my pin. So this is how I'm going to be doing it. You just take any measurement of your choice for the pleat, okay? Okay, so now as you can see, I've used my pin to hold it fast, okay? And this is 18 inches. When I fold, it is 9 inches. I hope you can see it. This is 18 inches. All right, what I'll need to release the last two a little bit to accommodate for my sewing allowance okay so that i will have like 20 inches all together okay i'll also need to check it out again okay this is perfect okay so now as you can see we have 20 inches at this upper side okay the extra inches are for our sewing allowance all right now at the lower part we have 12 inches we need to check it again we'll also be imputing one inch extra for sewing allowance so it's going to be 13 inches i hope you see it's 13 inches all right okay so for this one i already cut out this strip it's about one and quarter inch i hope you can see this is what i'll be using to tape the lower part of our sleeve okay i'll be using it to tape around here so now i'll go to the machine Hold fast these pleats. I hope you see our midpoint. I made four, four pleats on each side. You see this one is facing our midpoint. The other one on the other side is also facing our midpoint. I hope you see it. This is what I mean. You can see it. Each of them tried to kiss, but they are not kissing. You can as well do your own to kiss. There is no problem. Okay, so I'll go to the machine. Hold it fast with my stitch. And then for this lower part, I'm going to tape it using this strip, all right? Okay, so now 
with the pleats firmly held i've also put the first step of my taping i have to start working from the wrong side i'm assuming this is the wrong side okay so this is the right side so i need to use this piece of fabric to cover the rough edges so i will only need to fold again like so i hope you see it so i will just fold and sew so that at the end of the day we have something like this okay so i'll go to the machine also and get it done all right i hope you see it now it's neatly taped okay if you have a bolder fabric you can extend your own so that it's no longer this sling okay now i'll go to the machine and close up this end okay making sure that what i have left here is nine inches all right okay so now i've closed it up remember this is a midpoint which is going to sit at this point okay so the next thing will be to just neatly attach our sleeve like this making sure that this joint portion of our sleeve is corresponding with the joint portion with this armhole area where the front and the back is attached okay so i will neatly attach our sleeve okay so this is what we have after we inserted it i hope you can see it okay so thank you guys for watching till the end and this is what we have at the end of our tutorial for today if this video has been helpful to you please give us thumbs up and don't also forget to share our videos please feel free also to leave your questions and your comments in the comment section i love you from the bottom of my heart until we meet in my next tutorial please keep your head high bye